R Markdown output formats. So R Markdown, you can actually save as the R Markdown file itself, but it will not hold the data that you were using to actually perform your analysis. Uh, there are ways of using packages, like one thing I did at work recently was I took the package data table, um, it's just capital DT, and imported that and threw a bunch, through like a, da a data frame into a, a DT data, data table, and it actually retains the information inside of it. And with a specific option, you can even have a button in this HTML file to download a CSV or Excel file of all of the data that actually builds that table. Of course, the larger the data set, the slower, the larger the file, and the more of a pain in the ass it's gonna be. But if it's a small data set, having it that way makes it easy, easily distributable. And then you can also give the raw data to an individual to run their own analysis or um, do their own information, whatever. So you can output a raw uh, R Markdown document. You could produce that HTML document. And honestly, honestly, um, the two main formats you export from R Markdown are the two most ubiquitously utilized formats of documents, HTML and PDF, because everybody's got a PDF reader because we got an internet browser. Everyone's got an HTML reader because we got an internet browser. So pretty much, if you have a computer, you can open a, an HTML and a PDF document, which is why exporting to those two formats makes it awesome now the difference between those two formats pdfs you got some you got some stuff you might be able to i've, I've never done it but you can like input some javascript into pdfs and do some malicious or weird stuff but pretty much the, the only thing i really see a value coming right now from pdfs uh, in our from our markdown is really just the hyperlink table of contents but html is another story anything you can do on a website all these progressive web apps, uh, everything with the web stack, if you can do it with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you likely can do most of that you know, sans server-side processing. But as a static file, you can embed all this code into an HTML file and do whatever you want. So if it, if it can be done on a website, for the most part, you could probably recreate it and do some really cool stuff in R Markdown. Interactive plotly graphs, data table, um, exportation of the raw data through CSVs, um, you name it. it. You can do a lot of stuff with these output formats. And so the two main output formats I use are, of course, HTML and PDF. Now you can also export to Word if you don't have a LaTeX distribution installed like I do at work, and you can actually have it reference a Word file that you've changed the default template and styling on, which I have done. You know, I've changed my headings to a different color. I've changed the level five heading to be like, you know, a line break. So that way I can actually do page break because I can't use the LaTeX page break um, because I don't have LaTeX at work. So you can do that as well. I mean, I really hate having to do that. I'd really rather just use LaTeX or Tiny Tech and um, export to PDF at work, but you know, uh, we're stuck with what we're stuck with. Um, but also there's some other formats. Now, and when I knit the document, it only knits to those three formats, but I can create other types of files. Um, these are not R Markdown. You can't take R Markdown and put it into these files, but these are other types of files you can make in R Studio. And um, I know there's like a big difference between um, our notebooks and R Markdown. I just, I just still just do everything in R Markdown. I, unless somebody can, can clearly and concisely explain to me what the benefit and difference of an R notebook is. Uh, I think it might be something with like, you don't have to have all of your code chunks ran to knit the document or to create the document and to see the output and you just run a specific pieces of it and it's maybe better for testing small incremental chunks of your code. I don't know. I don't know. If somebody knows, please tell me because I just, I've tried to figure it out and I don't get it. Um, you could just have like a plain R script. Uh, you could call these scripts and this could be like all of your data munging and analysis and cleaning is all done in here. And then you just import a data frame into your R Markdown document for analysis and EDA and um, visualizations or whatever. Um, shiny web apps, that's like your interactive dashboard. That's a whole nother realm unto itself. I've never messed with a plumber API. I don't even know what the hell that is. Um, basic files, these are just blank files of that stuff, nothing special. 
Um, RSweave, I think that has something to do with LaTeX. I'm not sure. Um, RHTML. Actually, I think these are just about like package documentation, but the presentation. I discovered this one and I thought this was really cool. So I'm a part of a uh, local free code camp code group. People just meet at this co-working location and we all talk about code and programming and stuff. And uh, I gave a talk on Vim after you know watching all of Luke's videos on his channel and uh, learning Vim and playing around with this computer system. I've like to think I've learned a good chunk of stuff about Vim. I mean, I'm not like typing in regex stuff all the time and writing crazy complex macros or fully like um, what's the word? What's the word? Uh, fluent in Vim script or anything, but like I know enough to you know get done what I need to get done to be comfortable in the editor and to um, have the ability to understand what to do and how to hack on it and to get it to work for me and provide me value so that I continue to use it. So I mean that's the important part is that it, it's providing you value and it's making your day, your life, your workflow better, faster, easier, more efficient, whatever. But I digress. Vim presentation um, that I gave, I did it with an R presentation. So, I mean, this is it. It's basically like a markdown version of, you know, a, a presentation. You have the same sort of markdown syntax, you know, with bullet points and uh, grave symbols to highlight code values. Um, you can escape characters like some of the angle brackets I have or... Um, yeah, I think you can even actually have you can have code chunks in here too. It's basically like Markdown compiling to a presentation format, and what it looks like is so cool. Here, you can actually have this in uh, our Markdown in the R Studio editor, and you can actually do give this presentation in here. So one thing I did is I would like hide this, and then I would just move this all the way over, and then there's my presentation. Um, hide my face real quick, and so I could just click here and. You know, here's this basic presentation. And it doesn't look horrible, but I mean, it gets the job done. Um, but you can include code chunks and visualizations to make it look nicer and prettier. Um, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so our presentation, and it's literally like, there's nothing to it. I mean, the rest of this is just text and stuff that I typed. You know, you have your slide headings, your slide separators, and um, that's, uh, yeah, this, this, that's it. That, and then you can produce these great presentations. Um, I forget if uh, there was anything else produced by that file. Um, mark down there, images, it references. Yeah, I don't know. But this presentation is actually also up on my GitHub. Um, I put it up on there. It's not on my main listed repositories, but it's in here. Um, yeah, and then all the example files I talked about in the in giving this uh, talk is in here, but and then some you know resources and you know, I reference Luke. Um, yeah, so I gave that talk, and it was all about you know Vim, and I did the presentation in um, an R presentation in R Markdown, or in R Studio actually. So I actually ran the presentation from R Studio. Uh, yeah, so again, like there's so many options in this in R Studio. I mean, it's a great IDE, and it's free and open source right now. So it's yeah, R presentations. <laughs>